This one has a giant doll in it, and not the blow-up kind. This one has teen horror written all over it, but has something for the rest of us to enjoy. Well, quite a few things actually, as we'll discover, and a very special thanks to a friend on Facebook for recommending this movie to it. By the way, you, watching this, send me a Facebook friend request. I need more. Hi, I'm the Artie Dance from Asian Film Fans, and welcome to this video where I'll take a look at Horror Doll. Honestly, not that the story really matters, but two childhood friends, Yuki and Masato, receive a strange invitation to attend a party in a remote location where they will be paid 100,000 yen, because that doesn't sound suspicious at all. On arrival, they meet up with a group who's also received the same invitation. They're whisked away in a little minivan to an abandoned American summer camp site where a huge doll comes to life and in true slasher movie style, slowly picks them off one by one. Yes, surprise, this is a Japanese teen slasher film set in a summer camp with a chainsaw wielding doll hunting our cast of pretty teens. Making no secret of its inspiration, this movie takes the premise of Friday the 13th, the demented doll of child's play, the weapons of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and throws in the concept of a lonely little girl cursing people from dozens of other horror movies. It's not original by any stretch of the imagination. But it doesn't need to be, because this is all about trashy entertainment and for the most part, it delivers that. Leading the way in this film, in her cinematic debut, is idol Nao Kosaka. She's from a pop group you've never heard of and is also a fashion model. Most likely, this movie is purely a vessel from her agency to introduce her to the public and build her popularity. Wouldn't be the first time these agencies have done that. Knowing that, it's very odd that this movie doesn't have much music in it. During the movie, it's rather ambient, even in the build-up scenes. To help now, there are a few familiar faces to add a bit of authenticity to the film, including Riku Hagigara from 12 Suicidal Teens, playing a similarly annoying character, and Asuka Kurosaka from Himitsu and Suicide Forest Village. But honestly, the acting is adequate. Remember, this is just a trashy teen horror flick. Let's talk about the doll. The doll looks creepy, but loses most of the impact due to the fact that most of this movie is set in the daytime, which seems to be a cool trend in Japanese horror movies. The idea behind the doll is that it progressively grows throughout the movie as its curse becomes stronger. But really, at what point do the characters go, hold on, surely this is just someone in a doll costume? Speaking of the characters, they're about as one-dimensional as you could possibly get. Yuri and Masato get a bit of backstory, but everyone else, other than the guy who keeps pissing all the time, gets a one-line introduction. This is how you know they're cannon fodder. The movie doesn't care about them, so we shouldn't either. Although, just out of nowhere, there is a strange girl-on-girl -girl makeout scene that doesn't go far enough for half of the audience this movie is aimed at. In a final surprise, this movie has a twist in the ending that you won't see coming. The ending is obvious, but it's the reveal that'll have you scratching your head. And in proper slasher movie style, it leaves itself wide open for a sequel, which will no doubt come out when the next idol is ready to be unleashed on the general public. If you need to switch off for 90 minutes and watch pretty people getting killed in methods you first saw in American horror films back in the 70s and 80s, then I can recommend this film. It brings nothing new to the genre, except for a massively oversized doll-headed killer. But that's more than enough. Strangely, this gets a thumbs up, because I was entertained. If you've seen it, what did you think? Thank you for watching this review. Please don't forget to press the like button and consider subscribing to support the channel.